Oh my gosh. Well, he said it was only a quarter mile down there. And he's because he's been down to that bridge before well, a few times. This is the we're on the site of part of the old Willow uh, Lumber Mill, Foshi Lumber Company Mill at Willow, Florida. This is a picture from 1926, and right across from the railroad station, which makes sense because they cut it, mill it, whatever. They gotta get it on a on a railroad track. But this these are the ruins. This is as the lovely research assistant was pointing out a moment ago is the same type of stuff we find in the middle of the woods only this is preserved you, these, they have it uh, blocked off and this I, my sense of this place is that it's for special events this is not in addition to being the the stockyard and the repair area for the uh, museum it's also obviously a museum of its of itself in sorts so stuff just exactly like we'd see in the middle of nowhere and have seen many times in the middle of nowhere except here I noticed when they took this equipment off they didn't shear it they they bothered to take the time to unscrew the screws every one of them that one's a little bent but none of them are sheared and that's unique every every other one that I've ever seen has been sheared off So this would have been a, an incredible hub of, of activity back in its day. Amazing situation. An amazing sight. The town of Willow was further behind me, off to the to the west more. I don't know what's over here. There's more Jeeps coming in. It's, it's interesting that we, we happen to happen upon this place on a day when, oh, these are old switches, some sort of signals and things. Very cool. From back in the railroad days, um, when, when there was a reenactment here, because uh, typically this wouldn't be happening. This is a unique, I imagine it's part of the whole Veterans Day thing. You know, I was thinking that's why we couldn't find a decent hotel price this weekend because it's Veterans Day weekend. Maybe. <laughs> and here we have a, what I imagine at some point is a working sawmill or a saw, saw, not a mill. The whole mill would have been. Yep, so you got the big blade up there cutting. And this car, this little mini car, rail car, would have been bringing the, that's pretty cool. This is an excellent representation of how they milled the lumber from trees into workable pieces of wood. Run it back in and forth, up and down, move it over a little bit, move it back and forth. They turn it and mark right. it and turn it again. Right. All those little levers and everything up there. That's pretty cool stuff. Huh? Oh, me. Hello. Well, that's something or other. 1923. Okay, this guy told me that the reenactment, and I talked to one of the reenactors, a sergeant, a really cool guy. Um, he said that the reenactment involves you get down, you go down to where the the station is, you know, where we normally go. You, you get on, you pay a ticket, you get on the train, and you're, you're pretending to be a French citizen. 
the Germans are on the train. They're coming up here. These guys are going, yeah. I, I said, that's the only reenactment I've ever heard of where the spectators are participants. It's really, it's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and then I want to catch that reenactment situation. I hope I got a good view of everything over there. And I hope this isn't going to be turning out, turning out the jiggle too much. The, to perpetuate the era of steam, this is. These men dedicate to steamer generations. <coughs> cool. Cool. This little stockyard. Uh, Alright, we're going to shut down this portion. This is the the lumber mill segment slash museum 